Hello, today I wanna to talk about when a lust for leads to a took for, and a took for leads to a soul tie door. God created us to crave things, right? It's in our natural, it's in a natural makeup of our uh, mental, emotional, spiritual, and physical state, right? But what happens is we get in trouble when those cravings turn into lust, right? When those cravings turn into the lusting for. Because when we're in that lust stage, that lusting for, we have to decide what it is that we are going to do with that lust for energy. Now, in the first situation, we've got two sisters, and that's Leah and Rachel, right? And then we've got Jacob, their man, okay? Leah and Rachel, two sisters, and Jacob is their man, right? They're both married to Jacob. But what happened was Leah had a lust for, right? A relationship for a man. And that lust for led to her wanting Jacob, okay? And the Bible makes it very clear about the physical appearance of Leah and the physical appearance of Rachel. And so Leah had probably been trying to get a man for a while. It's probably what had happened. But she went about it the wrong way. Her lust for led to a took for, right? And then that took for led to an old soul tie door, okay? And how did it lead to a soul tie door? It led to a soul tie door because Leah took her value and attached that value to her babies each time she had them because she was hoping that those babies would attach, would uh, in turn have, Jacob attached to her. So she ended up creating a trauma bond between herself and her babies. And then she ended up creating a soul tie from herself to her babies and to Jacob as well. But Jacob never loved her, right? So she went from a lust for, okay? And then she moved into the stage of a took for with her father. And this took for was through deception. And I'm going to read in the scripture just what we find out about the took for. It says, so Laban brought together all the people of the place and gave a feast. But when evening came, he took his daughter, Leah, and brought her to Jacob, right? And then when you move on down to Genesis 29, and 25, it says, when morning came, there was Leah. So Jacob said to Laban, what is it that you have done to me? I served you for Rachel, didn't I? Why have you deceived me? So Leah's lust for a man, a relationship for her sister's husband, right? Led to her going into a took for and that took for led to her having a soul tied door, to walking into that soul tied door, right? Because she attached her value to her babies and she attached her value to that relationship and she attached her value to Jacob. So sometimes we can create our own, we so to speak, set up our own primer, just like you get paint from the store and you prime the walls. We prime ourselves for soul ties when our cravings lead to lust and that lust is not brought under control. Now, second situation, we have Dinah, right? And Dinah is Leah's daughter, okay? And just to show you how things are brought down the family line, remember Leah was so tied to her babies. Each and every one of her children, she was so tied to. 
She was soul tied to her babies and soul tied to her man. Soul ties don't just automatically disappear when you have not done the work. So you've got her daughter, Leah, who is walking around and goes to visit the other young ladies that's in the land and Shechem sees her. This is what it says in Genesis 34. And Dinah, the daughter of Leah, which she bare unto Jacob, went out to see the daughters of the land. And when Shechem, the son of Hamor the Hivite, prince of the country, saw her, he took her and lay with her and defiled her. And his soul clave unto Dinah, the daughter of Jacob, and he loved the damsel and spake kindly unto the damsel. And Shechem spake unto his father, Hamor, saying, Give me this damsel to wife. That was pretty bold, right? He lusted for Dinah, right? He let Satan get into his mind, okay? And then he took for, right? That lust for led to a took for. He took her for himself against her will. Same thing with Leah, okay? When you deceive somebody into getting you and they don't know they're going to get you, that's against their will. So one was through deception. The second one was through physical force. So she come took Dinah, right? He took for himself, right? And that led to a soul tie door, right? So like I said, sometimes we can get into situations when our cravings turn into lust. And when we don't do anything to tame that lust, we end up setting up for ourselves a soul tie door, right? So when he took for himself what he felt should have been rightfully his, it led him into his soul claving to Dinah. And guess what? Dinah already had her soul tie issues with her mom because Leah soul tied herself to her children as well as her uh, husband who never loved her. So we pass this stuff down from generation to generation when we don't resolve it. And Shechem thought that he was just getting what he took for, right? Going against somebody else's will. But he got way more than what he had bargained for, right? He ended up with a soul tied door because of what he partially created, okay, for one part of it. And then you get the double whammy because Dinah had her own unresolved issues with that soul tie with her mother. He also got that on top of that. So when a lust for leads to a pray more, then we can go to the exceedingly abundantly above all we can ever think or imagine door. Until next time.